All right, then we're gonna do some album reviews for you guys. We're gonna do a Joyner Lucas and Millie's, two of the bigger names to come out of Massachusetts in the last five or so Massachusetts years. Massachusetts stand up, baby. Let's go, Massachusetts exactly. Stand Massachusetts up. stand up, right, exactly. And uh, we're a Massachusetts-based podcast, so of course we want right. to talk about the local guys. And uh, yeah, Joyner and, and Millie. So Joyner Lucas is from Worcester, out oh, that that uh, a little bit more out Western Mass, and then Worcester, War- <laughs> Worcester sauce. Have you ever seen that video, by the way, where like people not from Massachusetts try to pronounce Massachusetts? No. Uh, sit- oh my, I'll, I'll send you it later. Well, I've it's- seen, I've seen, oh, I've definitely seen uh, things like that. Oh, yeah, it's hilarious. I've definitely yeah. seen compilation videos. War- like Worcester. I, mean, I can't even do it, and I'm from Massachusetts. We have some <laughs> weird names. Um, one was um, Cochituit. That one. That one looks. That one's insane. Sounds like you just cursed. Exactly, like right? You <laughs> yeah, you you, you could have. There's two words out of that you probably could have. If you mispronounce them, they'd be curse words. But yeah, there's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Haverhill's another one. There's just so many. Haverhill uh, is how that's spelled. Yeah, there's so yeah, many people. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. But either way, uh, Joanna Lucas from Worcester. Millie's is originally from Cambridge. Uh, these they're two doing their thing. They got you know massive followings now. And, and just two dropped, uh, I think, two of the bigger projects of their careers. Uh, we'll we'll discuss on whether or not you know we liked the albums or, or what, we, what we what we take away from them and maybe some of the things we liked that they did. I guess we'll start we'll start with Joiner. I think that's a good place to start. Um, right. What's your history with Joiner Lucas before this coming into this project? You know, this is actually that's a great place to start because I don't want anything what I'm about to say after this to sound like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Ooh, okay. All right, this boy is nice. <laughs> okay, this kid is this dude is nice. He's obviously. Joyner is, I think it's not like offensive to say, right? Like Joyner Lucas is definitely more established than Millie's, um, but yeah. probably been the uh, the longest, most established artist from Massachusetts, at least that I've been aware of. Cousin like Stiz, maybe. Stiz yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. I've, of course. But in terms of like, you know, Joyner Lucas is making songs with Eminem like constantly. <laughs> yeah. so, and I don't know what other Massachusetts artists is doing that stuff. Um, but uh, I have been aware of Joiner because he's been in the game for a couple years now. He's been in the game, you know. I'm I'm tw- I'm 22, about to turn 23 soon, so I'm I'm young. But I was aware of him definitely in high school, early high school, and a lot of it were was the things that he would body, right? Are those mm. music video storytelling combo uh, d- packages like where like the visuals were on point the the lyricism throughout the 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 song was on point and the most the most astounding thing every time was how he made a story that was so vivid whether it was like a stream of consciousness perspective or a third person perspective that was or whether it was introspective it was he he could do it so well and would be so descriptive and then he also had a dope run of just remixing popular beats I feel like after I got out of high school, like three or four years ago, he was on a tear, you know, just remixing Gucci Gang, DNA, a whole bunch of things that that were hard, that were hard. And even then, he had dropped a project. There's the there's the phone number project. I remember that getting some plays and people really uh, talking about that a lot. And I, I had listened to it, and, and it was I, it was I. It was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm only saying this and I feel nervous to even be on a Massachusetts based podcast because I'm not here. I'm not here for the bashing of MA based artists at all. You know what I mean? But I'm also going to be truthful about what I just like musically, I guess. Yeah. And I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of the whole album uh, because I, I think there's there was a little bit and I think this has kind of been the trend for him. For most of his career his at least mainstream career is that i'm not too compelled by who he is as a person and when he talks about himself and or when it comes to him offering me some substance about i don't know that something that's just removed from more of this uh storytelling like uh vignette style you know what i mean like because that's what a lot of these things where it's like you know they were delivered with these singles with the video combo it's meant to have the visuals and it stands alone it's not related to the track before his project it's not related much to the next track on his project and i think he's still figuring that out honestly so that's kind of where i am with him and how i've looked at him so far though is like 
this kid can this kid I'm this guy's fucking older than me I'm a, I'm a chump I'm a kid but this guy is nice he's been around for a second I still think his career has a long long ways to go you know which is which I'm saying is there's a lot more maybe untapped potential but uh and and his lyricism is out of is out of out of here you know what I mean off the oh, charts yeah. I don't oh, know yeah. how else you want to say that like he he's he's nice like but obviously that's not you know that's not what a full that's not the full rapper package just being able to rap your ass off even though the real backpack heads and the real purists would kill someone for that but like being able to create a catchy song being able to create a certain image that's relatable that's a part of just being a rapper a performer and and i feel like he hasn't been able to do much of that and i'll end it right here because i want to hear more of what your take is on joiner is that him versus uh Mr. Tory Lanez, who who I'm still unsure about of whether or not he's canceled. For me, I, I'm saying he's canceled until proven innocent because you know just the kind of the thing he did, the nature of 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 what we're talking about. But just removed from that, the Tory Lanez versus Joyner Lucas little beef they had in, about two years ago. Tory Lanez being someone who doesn't rap exclusively really showed showed out. I thought had a great showing, and in my opinion killed Joyner in that you know what I mean and Joyner tried to hop into his bag of like I'll create the narrative story thing about Tory right but it does it was not applicable does not resonate in that same way and that may be a testimony of how much he's still trying to learn how to do that just in terms of him as an artist you know what I mean yeah but uh yeah I I I I, I, no a lot of what you said makes makes some sense um to me and 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 i see i see what you're saying just some just some just some of it just some some (laughs) it does make some sense to me i my history with joiner is similar um i came on to him the first song i ever heard of his was happy birthday and and that and like that song as well i think paints amazing song amazing song the visuals all that i think that kind of piggybacks off of your first the first part of what you said where he does such a good job of painting that story, that picture, telling it. Um, that song, like with the twist and the end and the third verse, like anyone that hasn't heard that song, I highly encourage that one. That like that's like a that's a song that'll kind of leave you with like chills in your bones. Like in, in your spine. anyone who hasn't yeah. spent at least two hours, honestly, like just laid back binging Joyner Lucas videos, they they're missing out on a very good part of hip hop. Yeah. You know, you gotta you have to give them that because it's it's Absolutely. master craft Absolutely. kind of storytelling. Absolutely, like that that song was great. I agree with you saying like he made it huge when he was jumping on the Eminem's uh, albums and 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 doing some of those. Uh, guest verses and I really he, this is the second album he's dropped actually this year and I think that while um, there are actually songs on the first project that dropped earlier this year that I like ADHD uh, songs that I liked better than the ones I liked here um, I you do said, you said you liked ADHD I Did think I hear that right? Individual songs, yes. Certain certain individual oh, oh, songs. Oh, oh, okay, because the album was named ADHD. Yes, yes, the, yes. So, so you were talking thing. about the, I'm t- talking about the, the title track, ADHD with Logic. Do you like that one? ISIS, he was on ISIS, Logic. Oh, oh, oh I, ISIS, ISIS. That song, not like great on like replayability. I didn't think it was bad. I just wasn't. I, I, Logic. Okay, I just, just they, wondered. They, they, I, sorry, just had to. That they, one. Yeah. Mm, I could have done without. <laughs> like they went off. Like I mean, like they both the flow wise, they, they, they both rapped. Can, they rapped. They Logic, both can rap their ass off. Logic's verse was better, but I don't know if I. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, you running that back, Mike? I don't mean to interrupt you, buddy. No, no, no. That back? Not, not as much. No, I don't go back to that song. I mean, when I go back to that album, I definitely. That's not the song I go back to. I really like the song Will a ton. I thought that that song had a ton mm. of. Um, like fun lyricism, I think it like if you're a fan of like Will Smith's disc, uh, excuse me, filmography and and his mm-hmm. movies, I think that song kind of makes a ton of sense and like is nostalgic in a lot of ways and and so I and I love the video that he did too. I think he even it can, he can uh, even look a little bit like he can pull off the the Will Smith look. He looks a little bit like him <laughs> in some in some ways in the way in which he was. I thought that was super dope. Um, so that like that that song was good. There was a couple of songs like the song called I think the War with Young Thug I really liked on that album. There was there were individual tracks I liked off ADHD. I thought this Evolution album top to bottom was a little bit more consistent. The problem I have with Joyner Lucas's albums, 
Um, and again, just to go back from like we were saying, Most like happy, definitely. happy, That's what I'm trying to say happy birthday. I'm not racist. Right. That was a, like that video. That was huge. That huge. Blew up. Blew up. Yeah, exactly. But and honestly, not even like I'm sure you've seen some of the other ones, like maybe not even his best one because I am not racist yeah. is great. Great. Right. It's like maybe not even his. Like he has so many of those uh, video song combos mm -hmm. that are like that you like what this was made seven years ago. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, he was he was definitely ahead of himself and ahead of I think at the time with a lot definitely. of that. He did such a good job with those. I think that's his bread and butter. I would agree with you there. Um, my problem, my biggest problem with some of these, and I, it, it, it is a little bit of the re the relatability factor, but the skits kill me, dude. I can't do the skits. I know, dude. I they're know. so cringy. Who is this teacher? I need to know. <laughs> they're so cringy. I need he to said they're know. They're so cringy. They're so cringy, dude. It was it was bad. <laughs> it was bad enough on ADHD, and that was my one criticism of, or one of my bigger criticisms of that album. Also, the fact that like, ha over half the album was already singles that we had heard. We literally there's only like six new songs. But either way. The skits, the skits on this album are far, far worse. It's the skits. It's such bad acting is the problem. Like the it, Alexa, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Sorry, Alexa came on. She, she just wants uh, to, she oh wants to God, chime in. I need to put her on mute. But yeah, no, the the, the voice acting was was bad, bare bad, minimum. Bad. Definitely like that's and that's something that like with I thought a lot of his videos honestly could have used better. Uh, film actors or on-screen actors, but his YouTube videos and him kind of just being what seems like, you know, a smaller independent kind of underground feel is mm -hmm. like they can kind of, you kind of give it that leeway because the film and then its entirety and all of the song matching it is so cohesive mm -hmm. that when you have some bad actors or actresses, you don't hold them against that. But you chose to, you listened to these skits and didn't have a problem with the way she was talking and you let this mm -hmm. go. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, you know, so, so just, this is why I was interested to just hear you, I guess, defend this project. Because with the amount, with the skits, with the tracks that we've already heard here, and the fact that it's 14 tracks, I think, or 12 tracks, mm -hmm. or like 45 minutes, like just under 45 minutes, like, this is not a lot here. And I feel like it feels like another just, uh, feels like he's just putting out a project to stay hot this is like one of those like put Striking it out the keep, the temperature, yeah. keep the temperature where it's at yeah i um i agree i i, I will say this I, th I think i definitely liked this album much better than you there were some definitely some songs on here that i definitely enjoyed um you know like on, on a song for example like on this on this way with the game i like i liked the production actually a ton i thought it was soulful i thought it like the piano was gorgeous to be honest with you it is actually interesting with uh, this comes up again on Millie's album and, and I want people to maybe listen to this back and forth or maybe I'll even like edit it in somewhere to kind of see the, the juxtaposition of, of, of this. But uh, it sounds like a really raw version of uh, Elevators Me and You by Outkast with the uh, with like the, the clinking hi hat in the back. It, it, it's not exact, but it's it's very like I think either maybe he sa maybe he sampled it, maybe he didn't or maybe he just took some influence from it or maybe I'm just uh, listening and reading too much into it but I, I listened to them back and forth and I kind of could hear like some of the BPM being very similar um, but I thought even so like this is just a weird like nerdy thing I wanted to point out not, not that that's a good or not that it's a good or a bad thing I'm just just pointing it out but uh, ahead, I thought this go ahead. I thought this song was a major highlight I really did I thought the game did a really nice job I thought his verse like was awesome um, I like what, he, what the game was talking about a lot with like seeing his, his old teacher in Trader Joe's Saying that, oh. the, like the, the teacher that said he would never amount to anything. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the game washed Joiner. Uh, that, that verse was crazy. The that game verse was washed Joiner there. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like I, and that's and that's where that's where it, it it was like I'm listening to this and I wanted to like Joiner Lucas and I still support him and I still would you know I would always still hype up. I'm just glad he's from Massachusetts doing his thing and I, I would definitely put put someone else onto him if they're really into lyricism mm. lyrical miracle whip type things but like the game came on and i remember listening to that track and it was like early in the thing but i was just like i don't know anything about joining that was like one of the first things like that came up to me is like every time i go on to a project no matter how familiar of a name he is i still feel like i don't know crap about him mm. <laughs> um like and or at least he hasn't said it in a way that's made it stick and he hasn't created an image that like makes 
what is unique about him distinct. Mm. Um, but the game came on, uh, just crazy cadence. That that real, sh- you know, obviously the games with that street shit. <laughs> but yeah. like that 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 the delivery was on point. And in the first eight to twelve bars, like I thought it was just an example of like wow the game is painting this picture about the kind of person who he is like you know what i mean right, not in like right. not in just like these vague ways but it's like recounting and, and telling stories about uh just remembering being broke you know what i mean remembering days giving real vivid specific bars about stuff that he's endured in his life and then when he comes with his teacher it's like even if all this isn't necessarily real right because rappers if you can just paint the right compelling thing then it then it goes but it's this kind of that kind of substance i guess that like other rappers that i think are above above are on the tier on top of joiner you know that's what makes them interesting even if they can't rap as well as joiner technically you know yeah, what i mean yeah uh but like the game came on there with swag came on there with style and that i thought that verse was that's i'm glad you brought that up because i was like this game verse was crazy that verse was crazy and then he, he ended on that kaepernick line which i thought was just such a way good way to oh, put it that was oh so crazy God. black as the pick and kaepernick's throw. yeah oh my God. <laughs> I was like, and then he just ended it, and it stopped. And the song stopped, and I was like, yeah. "Damn, dude!" And that's why I was like, yeah. "This is." I, that's why I'm like, Joiner might as well have just tapped out. Like, he's you're not saying anything after that. Yeah. No, with 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 the uh, whole album as a whole, like I I think he was trying to frame it as like we're trying to evolve from like this like the notion of. Um, uh, like, like he was trying. He was trying to basically like portray like the black experience in America, and like how you know we kind of put like this the country as a whole. Like it kind of just puts um, you know young black boys and girls at such a disadvantage early on. I think that was maybe the part of like the the reason why he was doing the skits and, and things like that, and kind of framing it that way. And I think with the last album, Two ADHD, he was trying. I like I see what you're saying, where like he doesn't enough of him in these bars. I think he was trying to almost use the skits as a way to be like, oh, I had like, this is like what I was dealing with, like with my ADHD when I was young, but he was using yeah. the skits to portray it instead of like the actual lyricism in the songs. So, yeah. and I do think he had some interesting lines and some bars. I will disagree with you on that, where I feel like some of his lyricism, I thought was more focused on this project than I had heard in the past. Like, especially on this, like the opening track evolution. I like how he said, like, I'm starting to understand like the shit that Pac was talking about. Where like I, so at least at least this album had somewhat of a framing to it where like that made some sense. Um, yeah, he, he did go it, off on some it, of these. Definitely. He went off on some of these detours. Like you know, like like it, I, I, I like, think it had I think it had an obvious sorry. Like I think it had like an obvious framework. Yes, you know it did. I mean it, it it's did. to me it's it's to the degree of like how much he dived into each part. Right, you know which is I mean? the problem. You can make it. You can make the checklist and like. I got this song, I got this song, I got this song that talks about this. I technically brought up all these different kinds of subject matters, mm-hmm. but like, did you put them in a bar? Did you put them in a verse? Did you have a whole song that like, that like drilled beneath uh, whatever theme that you were talking about, mm-hmm. like on a deep level? Yeah. <laughs> like, I guess that's, I don't know how else to articulate it. No, about, I see what like, you're saying. That's what's missing for me yeah. with Joyner Lucas's music. And I, th- I wish that like, I wish I, I think he is also in a spot where he he's trying to make his image he's trying to establish his image as like a rich hip hop artist even right. though necessarily he might not be a rich hip hop artist right but you gotta have the drip you gotta have the the, the look to at least say you're getting money now mm-hmm. right even if you're not getting money but like this is where like rappers like a Cole right someone who has a very different cadence but lyrically is in that same caliber and I'll put Joyner Lucas up there in the caliber of someone like a Cole whether artistically I would like him or not which and I that's where I think he doesn't stand a chance but like Cole for a lot of his first couple projects even not even for a lot of up until Forest Hills Drive like even after he signed with Jay after he's got Kanye he, he drops on the same day as Kanye still sells a good amount of albums you know what I mean 
has his plat even in his platinum album he's rapping with this hunger that's like i'm still not where i want to be and everyone's disrespecting me and that shows us kind of awareness where it's like yeah i'm at this place and like i'm still dealing with rich people things but i am he's he's you know being real like i'm not even in the rich i'm not dealing with the kind of rich people problems i want to deal with just yet we're like when i'm listening to joiner talk about some of the certain things or about stresses and anxieties i get it he's at a point right now so he's famous so he's dealing you want to describe things that you're witnessing actually mm-hmm. but i think it's clear that he wants to be at a, a higher platform ascend to a different level rap with that conviction you know what i mean like rap about how it's not working like show me like rap rap about how like address the fact that people you know what i mean like like hear the criticism i think i feel like he's just i that's what i'm saying like he's not he's not oblivious i think to how people look at him Mm -hmm. and he's trying to change the narrative for himself Mm -hmm. but he's not addressing it in the ways that are resolving the actual problems and and i'm getting so i'm getting so analytical about it because i love music i love rap music and joiner's nice and i always want i want to like him as much as i I got you i understand he's from mass exactly uh yeah but i get upset and i get frustrated almost with his music dog because i'm just like yo like i he's nice you know what i mean or if you're gonna double down bro go benny the butcher type griselda with it even though griselda's release at a volume where i'm like maybe you could reduce it but they're committing to this niche of right they're in that lane of drug talk blah 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 like do something i don't know i don't know like make make a whole project that cohesively strings along all the things you do well like mm. storytelling Projects, yeah you know what exactly I mean? and i, I or, like yeah. count on your strengths if that's what you're gonna do for full-length projects but you do it so well with singles and videos like why why are you not following through and just essentially connecting those all along because we know you can and i'm sure he's attempted it in other things but when you start rapping like oh i'm dealing with being so famous and being so rich like you're famous and rich and who the fuck am i to speak but you're not the person that is a household name and being recognized on every corner. You know what I mean? Like you go to Massachusetts, you go to other places, people might look at you. Uh, you go to Massachusetts, people definitely know who you are and definitely will be following you. But you go to other places, I doubt, and I bet he knows this too, Joyner Lucas isn't getting recognized. You know what I mean? <laughs> at every every place he goes. he's he, You can't, don't, don't rap and be braggadocious when you're not there you know what i mean it's it's that's these are just kind of like specific criticisms i have literally while, while listening to the music interesting no I, I i appreciate the perspective too that you're bringing in and i and i think there's definitely validity to it i i agree i don't know if he's there quite yet i think he's still trying to like you said i think he's still trying to find that um that way about him like even example too, like I didn't really care much for the single snitch and the video. I didn't think it was his best. I think he's done far better, uh, for sure. Far better. Far better. Far better. But I, I think yeah. like the the whispering was cool. Snitch, snitch, snitch. Like yeah, the, I dope. remember like this is just I'm, I'm over this. Like you know he's it's doing a great job describing it because he does what he does. Yeah, it's, it's it's not something to come back to. But there were tracks here that I did think I had some energy or had like aesthetically or sonically like actually i enjoyed quite a bit like zim zima i think is a dope track i think it's got like a totally a banger he's got some crazy flows on that one uh straight like that was very jazzy i thought the like i really do think he when one thing i want to give him a lot of credit for is he really tried to ev- uh, evolve his sound on this project where he gave us some more melodic harmonic soulful like hooks um and then definitely some more like um like soulful jazzy production so that that yeah. for me, that's what I really liked about him, and I, and I and I do think lyrically, personally for me, this was his more most focused that I've heard Joiner Lucas from top to bottom as a project. So at least there, I want to give him that credit, where I think this might be a step in the right direction for where he's trying to go. I just don't think he's quite there yet, but there's still songs on here that I probably will come back to. I'll take away. I think straight like that on this way. Zim Zima and then Legend with Rick Ross I enjoyed quite a bit too and Evolution I think those like some like those are the tracks where I really feel like I could see myself going back and listening to those just based off some of the sonic appeal of some of them 
uh, not necessarily like like there were there were like there's lyricism on Millie's album um, that I remember a lot clearer than I do with Joiner's. Um, even though I understand more so of where Joyner was going with his album, like what he was trying to accomplish, but I don't feel like I could pick apart as many like memorable lines. The most memorable right. lines I had were the games, like you know what I mean. Right. And that that's, inherently that's might be the problem. That problem with substance keeps popping up for me. Um, yeah, and I totally appreciated. Definitely, the instrumentation was on point. Which I feel like goes to show that like he's signed to a major, he's trying to take advantage of that. Um, the lyrics, the, I, I mean, think the, the production was great. I thought it was definitely, it was and I thought it was different. It was Kanye esque. It was kind of yeah, logic y yeah. in that in that sense because of all these you know cool horns and drums that here and there coming up like cinematic at times, which is very cinematic. which is dope. It, it I'll say though, it felt like hit me as a consumer. I feel like I'm aware of him clearly trying to pivot his sound mm. because this was these de- these did sound like different beats than I've heard him over before right so right. he's right he's trying to make something he's trying to make some kind of sound find his find his sound or find where his lane is sonically where I, I just think he's he's cold you know I just think like it, it felt the all this felt good but it felt like you're clearly uh, we're slapping regular joiner onto this you know what i mean and then trying to see if it mixes with a different backdrop yeah and, and like maybe he's being more meticulous about the backdrop and that's cool he's trying to find more of the jazzy things uh this wasn't like a at this or at least most of the tracks there was definitely one or two in there but this wasn't like the radio reach necessarily no it definitely the wasn't production. Radio reaching. um but uh i i think like this is where i'm saying like He's not doubling down on some of the strengths that I think he could be doubling down. I feel like I haven't gotten mm-hmm. the Joyner Lucas project that I think he could be making. And when he's making steps like this, it, it's it's good that he's making steps. You know, he's mm-hmm. taking steps, and that's what I'm saying. He has a long career to go, yeah. but uh, I, I don't know if he's in the right direction. And I hopefully he can come to the right direction at some point. And this is again just my opinion same just, yeah same this is just our opinions i'm interested to see in the comments section on either instagram or on this youtube channel or uh, wherever you're listening curious to hear what you guys uh, if you guys heard the joint lucas album what you guys think of it would love to hear your thoughts